Hi, welcome back to this session. And in this session, we're going to be looking at how to work with images from your CSS. And this is the image that we're going to be working with. This image of a cute dog is what we are going to be working with in this session. Now let's let's create to see. Let's just call it image container. So in this, let's have some random words <coughs> now, this image container sometimes you might want to make a particular section of your page the background of that particular section to be an image then you need to use it from your css and to do that just call that class or any session or any property uh, just call that class or any session or that session you want to use the image for and you set the let's let's set the width let's set the width to Maybe 600 pixel. Let's set the height to also maybe 200 pixel. And now, maybe you want to make image that image to be the background of that session. Just use that property called background image. And that background image, it will take a URL. Now, take note of something here. If I open my file manager, this is the CSS I'm working on. And this is the image that I want to use that I want to display as the background of that session. This is the image, so it is in the same file directory or folder directory of that my CSS file, and that is why I'm going to say the column and type into that same directory. If I want to leave that directory, if I want to go out of that directory, then I'll do a double dots to go out of that directory. But if I want to look in Inside that same directory, I just put dot slash. You can see that dog dot jpeg is in the very same now. You can see now that let me make the text to be white. Color white. I can see now that I have my image as a background of that session with the height and with the width. Now, notice that the image does not this. This is the full image. But I'm not seeing the full image. Now, if I want to display the full image, all I just need to do is just come <coughs> and set the background size. Set the background size to, and this background size can either be auto, which is like the default. So you just display it based on how it should be displayed. So it's just like the default, and you can also have it as a percentage relative to the parent element. Okay, so maybe wants to be 100 percent of the parent element then you set it as a percentage so that's the background size so you can also set it to cover you can also set it to cover now this cover is just to cover the entire width that has been defined to be so like the width has been defined to be 600 pixel 100 uh, 200 pixel and the height is 200 pixel 200 pixel so if you want to just cover the entire width or entire space you use background size to recover and you can also use it to be contained it's contained so the content it just makes sure that the image is fully visible that is the what this content do it's make sure that the image is fully visible now if the visibility of the image implies that it will not be able to cover the width that has been defined so meaning that it has to now repeat itself but the goal is that the image should be fully visible with this content. So if you want your image to be fully visible, then use content. Now we also have another property which is the background repeats. Notice that my background is repeating itself. So notice that the mass now use background repeats it can either be repeats or no repeats. Now if I don't want to repeat, I'll just set it to no repeats. You can see that it does not repeat itself. Now you can also have it as okay, I want to repeat. To repeat and you can also have it as repeat x repeat x meaning that you can repeat yourself on the horizontal as this but why why repeat y is you can repeat yourself on the vertical axis but what i just want to pay attention to is this url if you want to import image into your html file from your css you use your url just like you have source in html 